Have you ever tried to select a layer but ended up grabbing a different one? Do you find yourself toggling visibility or soloing layers just to locate the art you need to work on? Does it feel like you're navigating through a minefield of bounding boxes and adjustment layers just to find and select the layer you want to work on? Wouldn't it be great if there was a better way of selecting layers? Welcome to this demo on Smart Selector, the tool to help you get work done. Smart Selector is the world's most advanced layer selection algorithm for After Effects, allowing you to point, click, and select any layer you can see. Smart Selector sees through and bypasses bounding boxes to select the layer you want, even if it's embedded inside multiple pre-comps. Let's take a look. To get started, I'm going to go to Window and select Smart Selector. If you don't already have your Effects Controls panel up, you can go to Window and select Effects Controls. So the first thing we'll do is select Create Smart Selector. This will add a new null layer to your composition. With it selected, navigate to the Effects Controls panel and grab the Point Controller. This is what drives all the functionality of Smart Selector. I'm going to place it over this number 25 and click Find and Select Layer. Smart Selector will then begin calculating all the math to find the correct layer and select it for you within your active composition. As you can see, Smart Selector found the correct layer. You can see it's the correct composition. But what if I want to select the number 25 inside the pre-comp? If I turn on Find Layer and Pre-comp and then click Find and Select Layer, Smart Selector will then start drilling down into pre-comps to find and select the layer at its deepest level. Great, so as you can see, it found the number 25. If I back out, you can see it dove down one, two, three compositions to locate and select the layer. Now let's try something a little bit more difficult. I'm going to back out to a master composition and let's see if we can select oh this turquoise button under the text layer that says create one for me. I'm going to select find and select layer with find layer and pre-comp still selected and smart selector is going to run the algorithm to find and select that layer. So before we move on to some of the other examples that I have, I want to show you some of the fundamental flaws with After Effects native selection tool. So I'm just going to composition and I'll create a new composition and we'll just start from scratch. I'm going to go and create a new solid just as a background layer. And then let's add a new shape layer. And if I just start drawing out some boxes here, uh, you'll start to see this bounding box here grow as I start to draw new shapes. And so the way After Effects current selection module works is it's looking for bounding boxes and it's not using RGBA color matching, which is the technology that Smart Selector uses to find layers. So if I were to try to select the background layer, if I use the selection tool here, I can't. And this is one of the issues that Smart Selector solves. To do that, I can use Smart Selector and just very quickly say find and select the layer. And there we go we selected our background layer. We can complicate things a little bit. I have a image, a PNG with alpha, these deal with it shades. And if I add that on top here, let me just bring my smart selector to the top. One sec, there we go. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice with the deal with it shades is there's this bounding box around the side. If I were to go and try and select anything underneath it, it's impossible. But with Smart Selector, it's a non-issue. I can go ahead and select this turquoise box and select Find and Select Layer. And the layer is selected. I can go back and try and select the background layer and say Find and Select Layer. It sees through all the bounding boxes and the transparency to be able to find and select the correct layer. So let's get a little bit crazy. I'm going to take our shape layer. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to change the color so we can see it. Let's go to a red. Uh, let's rotate it 180 degrees uh, and just kind of move it around so it kind of fits behind everything. Now, if I take this shape layer and I pre-compose it, Command-Shift-C, and I, let me just name this Pre-Comp. Let me just drag this below everything besides the background layer. With Smart Selector, I can still be able to access that layer if I turn everything off and say, uh, just find that layer just in this active composition. We can still find the pre-comp layer. If I want to dive in and say find layer in pre-comp, there's no issue. It can still dive in there and find it. 
Now let's push this a little bit further. Uh, I'm going to bring in a pre-comp from a previous tutorial. Uh, for those of you who've used my other plugin, Trigger, uh, this should be familiar to you. Uh, so I have this user flow, animated user flow, and I'm just going to let's just stick this behind some things here, make it really difficult to be able to find a layer. Now, using the natural layer selection in After Effects, uh, being able to even just select the pre-comp would be difficult. But with Smart Selector, I can say, okay, go in, let's find the background layer that's inside of this pre-comp. With Find Layer and Pre-comp selected, I'm going to say Find and Select Layer. So Smart Selector went four levels deep to find and select the background layer. And this brings me to my next point. I can actually ignore adjustment layers, which is the second setting, where I can bring this blur. So currently, if I turn this on here, I can really jack this blur up. Uh, and I can go back, go back, go back to composition two and say, okay, find that layer, but also ignore adjustment layers. So that means it will look underneath all adjustment layers, turn them off, just for a short period of time and then turn them back on once the layer has been selected. And as you can see, we've been able to replicate the exact same treatment even with an adjustment layer on top. All right, so let's continue on and look at a few other examples. Now let's try something a little bit different. I'm gonna go to my master space scene and I'm gonna do all my selection from the master composition. I'm gonna try and select this sheen on our astronaut's helmet. I'm gonna make sure find and select layer and pre-comp is checked on and select find and select layer. And just like that, you can see we found and selected the layer. All right, so I'm gonna back out uh, just one composition and create another smart selector in here and try and select something a little different. So I have this little alien here. Uh, he's sitting in his spaceship without a bubble, uh, a little bit dangerous for him, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find and select him. And the algorithm's gonna run and it's gonna find him at layer five in his pre-composition. So let's take a look at another example. Uh, oftentimes you'll get project files from other people. You don't know what layers are named or how the project is structured. But with Smart Selector, it doesn't really matter because it does all the heavy lifting for you. So if you can see it, you can select it, just as long as it's not a 3D layer. So I'm gonna grab my Smart Selector and see if I can find and select this orange circle. And so then Smart Selector is gonna dive down one, two, three, four, five, six, six pre-comps down to be able to find and select that layer named BG. It looks like it's a Photoshop layer with a mask on it. And so if I haven't already made it abundantly clear, if you want to select something in your active composition, you just turn off fine layer and pre-comp and you'll be able to find that no problem. But if I back out to our main composition and try and select something a little different here, I'm going to see if we can select this text that says create contact formula, whatever that means and say find select layer. And again, find layer and pre-comp is selected. We're gonna dive down a whole bunch of compositions to find and select this layer for you. It looks to be a text layer from Photoshop. I'll just go ahead and solo that for you. So kind of closing this out, um, I'm hoping that you guys are starting to begin to see the power of a selection tool that really works for you in After Effects, especially when project files start to get heavy and passed around multiple animators. Layer selection becomes half your day, and it shouldn't be that way. So to close out, let's do one last selection. Uh, let's go and see if we can select a raster image here. And so let's see if we can grab this image of this avatar right here and say find and select layer. We'll go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10 pre-comps to be able to find and select the correct layer. That is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You can download Smart Selector exclusively on aescripts.com.